Can I just get a show of hands of how many of you are currently Ryerson theater students? In pockets, and how many of you are not? <laughs> Terrific, so a pretty healthy mix, I think. That's great. Who are the, yeah, and how many of you are not putting your hands up? Exactly, and no, who, are okay. the, who are the people who are neither? That's right, <laughs> yes, all right. And are we, are we good to go? Yeah, yeah, okay, great. So are there any questions? Yes, please. <laughs> So the question is just about the space in which you're writing uh, and to the, the extent to which that uh, helps or hinders. I'm, I feel less and less influenced by it. Like I feel like now I can kind of write anywhere. But I used to be much more particular. I used to be much more conscious of it. And now I feel like I'm much more conscious of creating an inner space. But I often write with headphones now, which is kind of like. With music on? Yeah. But I can only listen to certain things. Not if, I, not if I'm conscious of the words. Right. It's like a weird thing, but I, I feel like that actually creates an instant space right. in a weird way. But I, but I used to be much more conscious of it, and now I'm much, much less. It's no, interesting. No apple green. No apple green. I painted my office this color uh, uh, of like such a bright green, and, and Michael, who was my an office neighbor then, Michael Healy, who I'm now married to, came in and was like, oh, <laughs> horrified. Horrified. Everyone was horrified. It was like radioactive. I worked so hard on it. Um, I would say I, I like to either write in complete silence, and I, I also wear headphones, and I listen to CBC Radio too. Oh. Only when it's classical, because I, I can't tempo. write with, yeah, tempo or, or um, tempo with Julie Nezrella. Yes. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Um, or uh, I have, or I, I listen to like any music without words, and I, sometimes I play the same song over and over and over and over and over and over again for like hours. Uh, like it's the song of the play or something and, it, and something in the, the movement of the song is the, the arc of the play or, you know, so I feel like it, it helps me remember what it is and it gets me moving, so. I have nothing against silence, but um, I actually like chaos around me. Um, so I would never close my, a door um, and because it's such a solitary adventure, um, the sound of people around me is, it feels good. Um, I, remember, uh, um, I remember when I was playwright in residence at the National Arts Center and they gave me someone's executive office, great office, windows, air, light. Um, but the secretary would always close the door because writers want quiet and I have to keep opening the door because this writer wanted noise. And I figured out that if there's a certain level of people noise outside, um, I knew they were there and I, it, I would then move to my work. If it were silent out there, my imagination would now be trying to figure out what was going on out <laughs> there and, and I wouldn't get anything done. And that's why I also like cafes. Uh, I have very strong antisocial tendencies, so to be in a cafe where I can absorb people energy without having to engage with them is paradise. 